Hello, Balua. <gasps> you know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asav. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. So far, so good. Someone took him out. We have company. All right, everyone. Spread out.
be fought! We are not alone! Son of a bitch! Safety's off! Have anything there? Negative! C4! Watch it! I'm gonna find a way out of here. Right, back to it. <laughs> ah, let's see where this goes. Be a way into the city somewhere. <laughs> Whoa, up there. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. <laughs> Asav only respects the soul. I never thought I'd see a place more spectacular than Halabadu. It's a shame, in a way, that Baloo is hidden from the world. And now we know why. <coughs> There's another god? I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. And in case there was any doubt, this was Balor, Lord Shiva. First man there. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh, at least before he got his elephant's head. Could be. Might also be Kartikeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. Damn it! They've blown the entrance! That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. They're trying to slow us down. Yeah. <laughs> In here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bath? Or a well? Possibly both. <laughs> a 
bit deeper here. Hi, huh, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Ancient Kannad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. <laughs> Fraser, over here. What do we have here? Incense? Or herbs? That is Sita? Vina. It's the Sita's distant ancestor. Maybe they gave performances in here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sav get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh.
Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Going first, eh? No welcome. Hi, you all right? Sorry, I just need to get my head back in the game, and I'll. Hey, Nadine Ross. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Your head back in the game now? Oh, smart ass! I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Oh, whole place is flooded. Okay. Easy does it. Now, oh, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. What I wouldn't give for a towel. My God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, 
I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. Nice work. What on earth is this place? Throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find the salve. Or until he finds us. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those creeks around the chamber. Hmm. Now what's that up there? One thing at a time. Right. I'll give this a spin. Specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. Okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Now the crank up ahead. back now. Dead. I'll be right down. I've got this one.
light the trident. Time to move. Come on, jump to the drum. Thought it was an owl. Now we turn the water on for this side. <laughs> Find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. What? What you said, back in that time uh, the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three beams. That looks right. Yeah. Now, we tend to the other two. It's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Uh, 
Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Really? Really? Okay, can you be a statue again? Careful. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. something so I can put this down no wait for it what's happening I can't see from over here just uh, hold still for just a sec all this water it's a cleansing ritual what's happening oh you can put down the mirror now oh, they found us get you ready shit
now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I gotta help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill me! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't!
Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! Testing my patience. He's yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Shut up and watch. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. 
Well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Buyers. What do you mean? Just over heard a soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for. Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. <laughs>